Okay, in this presentation, what we're going to do is we are going to look at the GGI, GGLI R package. And GGLI is essentially, it's a sort of enhancement of ggplot. Okay, or it's a sort of, yeah, it, it's a, a collection of really, really good um, sort of functions that sort of complement the ggplot R package. This particular exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the ggcoef one and that is for plotting model coefficients okay so this is for regression models okay so ggcoef okay and it's for plotting model coefficients so what I'm going to do here is uh, by the way just as it's not I'm not that I'm going to mention it particularly in this video I'm going to keep this video short but there's an R package called broom and broom is very useful to know about if you're working with models the way I'm working with models here it's if this turns out to be important for you broom uh, turn, might turn out to be important for you also so anyway uh, what I'm going to do here is fit a model and just a very straightforward simple linear regression model and I'm going to pick miles per gallon uh, this is the MT cars data set weight plus horsepower plus draft uh, data equals MT cars that's just a simple linear regression model okay and it's using an inbuilt data set called MT cars okay so what I have here is a simple linear uh, a model okay let's have a look at it there summary of model one okay there we have it there the that's the model summary there uh, we're, we're trying to predict miles per gallon based on weight horsepower and draft okay now it seems to be a decent enough model down the bottom you can see that the multiple r squared is not 0.8369 anyway essentially what I wanted to look at here is the estimates uh, so the estimates are 29.39 minus 3.22 minus 0.0322 so on and 1.61 and uh, also on the other side we can see the p-values and that the if they're significant or not so if there's asterisks or stars beside it it's significant so intercept weight and horsepower significant draft not significant okay uh, I won't get into the sort of any more uh, more detail about that actually because I'm trying to keep the video short but there you go uh, useful command also is this is actually relevant here uh, is a useful command called convent model one and this is a 95% confidence interval for the estimates there. Uh, you notice that they either have the same signs intercept as both both the 2.5 and 97.5 are positive, weight both are negative, horsepower both are negative. The very limited range of values there in terms of horsepower is just you know, but uh, just bear with me a second. Now, drat uh, minus 0.8983 to 4.12 that one's the one that is not significant okay so essentially that we're we can't prove that the true value of the coefficient well we can't sort of say for definite we can't make an argument I, I won't get into what a, it's not significant is it's not really the, the, what this video is about anyway that's it it's essentially what we're doing is a graphical complement to that okay so the command simply is actually I'll just do this again library GG ally and uh, you might I think you might need to have GG plot to sort of load it up as well GG coef and uh, model one give that a second now um, so look at that there we go so that's a graphical complement to the uh, summary the model summary there so uh, intercept draft horsepower WT um, the intercept and then the regression coefficients I think it might be in alphabetical order I'm not sure now it, the dots in the middle are the coefficients okay and the minus uh, okay so they're the, the the estimates okay and the lines uh, on either side sort of indicate the 95 percent confidence interval okay now so for weight let's just sort of pick it out here the WT is the top one 95% confidence interval from there to there. Now you notice that we have a dotted line here. Okay, that's the line uh, zero. Okay, so essentially the key thing here is does it cross the line? 
okay now so wt doesn't cross the line now this particular case horsepower is very very small in terms of magnitude okay now very hard to tell here for this particular example so probably i picked a bad example here but we could tell from the convent command there that i did a minute ago that it's just to check it out drat you notice that the 95 but that line that 95 percent confidence interval is crossing the zero line that's the sort of key tell there. Is it crossing the line? Yes or no? No. Can't tell, but from other, uh, elsewhere we can say no. Yes. Drat. Yes. And intercept. No. Very, I mean, essentially a lot of the dimension of the these uh, confidence intervals are re partly relate to uh, the magnitude of the variable so i mean you could sort of scale them and so on and like i didn't do that here but like there are ways to sort of you know work around that problem okay so we're able to sort of tell which ones are uh you know get a rough idea i'll get a rough sense of the model plot model coefficients okay so that's a really handy one for doing a bit of uh to uh, complement your statistical modeling with r okay